So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this pen. It's called the Moon Man M2. It's a very popular Chinese fountain pen. I think uh, there's been many reviews of it done. Uh, I haven't done a review yet, and I recently purchased another one of them. So I figured I would just kind of hop in and talk about it a little bit. Was it still is a very good pen and uh, quite popular from a Chinese pen standpoint. You could find them online pretty easily, sell for about maybe 20 bucks and uh, really nice quality. And if you're getting into fountain pens or Chinese fountain pens more specifically, this is going to be a top option still, even though it's been really popular and around for a couple of years now. I bought it in a set from, uh, from eBay. Uh, there's a couple of eBay sellers that are great and you always want to work with them. There's a couple ones that aren't so great and those ones tend to appear and disappear. So uh, you want to be careful what you, uh, who you buy from because there are some knockoffs of this pen, which seems crazy because it's only a $20 pen, but yeah, that's the truth. This one came with a free nib. So this is a 1.1 millimeter stub nib. And then we have the uh, Moon Man M2, which we'll get into in a second. And then it comes with an eyedropper. And then this is the gift box and there's some details about it. So Moon Man M2, uh, extra fine, and that, you know, quality control, stuff like that, it's pretty good. I've had uh, more than one of these in the past. I've had a few Moon Man pens, Moon Man's pens, I don't know how you would say that. Uh, but again, figured I picked up another one. Here it is, so I do the video fresh and kind of talk about it. No clip, Lucite or hard plastic or resin body, screw on, cap, nice looking nib. It's a stainless steel nib. It's extra fine in this case. I think it's sold in some other sizes, but this is extra fine. It says iridium point on there, plastic feed, see-through grip or section, or if you want to call that. It says Moon Man here, but no other branding. This piece appears to be aluminum. Here we have that clear plastic body. This pen as you have probably gathered, is an eyedropper. That's why it includes, literally includes an eyedropper. Large reservoir, I forget what the size is, maybe two milliliters, something like that, so very large. And then you could see sort of the really nice work with that plastic or that resin. This piece will post. It's a good pen for posting, but it's light and it's not particularly large. Plus it comes to a really sharp taper like this, which I think looks kind of ridiculous. It just is like tapered too sharply for a pen for me. It just looks really odd. It looks like a magic wand or something like that. It's just not a great look in my eye. I like when it's a more of a flatter finish, like a Sailor Pro Gear maybe. This one is such a heavy taper. Uh, anyway, I'll get off that topic for now. And then, uh, but it is a smaller pen regardless. So it is nice to have posted. We put it down here we'll see it's one two three four and a half inches long with the nib so pretty short posted it is a good deal longer it's one two three four five about six inches long you can get all the real measurements on unsharpened.com where I have everything down more exact plus in millimeters the quality of the moon man pens is actually pretty good uh, I wouldn't say they're quite on par with like a pen BBS or some of the top Chinese manufacturers, but it is uh, quite nice. Uh, never had any defects with these, never had any leaks or any weird breakages. Uh, you know, the screw on action isn't quite what it could be. And the, the uh, I guess the etching or whatever they use to put this on here, the laser work is it's like, okay, it's not great. The font looks a little weird and there's a little bit of blurriness. And, you know, sometimes the threading isn't ideal, but on the whole, I've had really good luck with Moon Man pens. I think that's pretty much a universally shared experience. So when it comes to filling the Moon Man M2, you want to remove the cap, obviously. Unscrew it. You'll see here some, uh, you know, nicely shaped threading. A O-ring right here, which will keep everything sealed. And... Uh, not too much else. There's no hardware in here because all it has to be is a place for ink to collect. Here we see, uh, again, more pretty nice threading, all plastic, a 
an aluminum ring right here, and that just prevents the uh, body from cracking if you were to over tighten it, and also acts as a stop for the cap. And then just an empty hole here, or empty uh, cavity where the ink goes. So it's, it's a pretty simple mechanism here. And uh, it's simple, which gives it a large capacity, and it gives it some little nice, they, they do have some little nice shape here, back here, where it's kind of slightly concave, which I guess gives you slightly more capacity, but more than that, it just looks kind of cool. So to fill it up is very simple. You get your ink container. This is some, uh, I think it's Sailor ink. It's a little sample I bought. I will actually use the official eyedropper. Usually I would use a pipette just so I don't have to get this dirty, but I'll give it a try. It is a glass eyedropper, which is nice. Put this in here. Try not to get ink on the sides by the threading and you let the ink out. Do that again. And you will repeat. This is a really small bottle, so I can't get too much ink out when I'm putting it in. You know, if you were using a full bottle of ink, you'd really only have to use this eyedropper maybe twice. Now I'm getting mostly air bubbles, so I will cool it with that. So, screw this back in. Make sure it's nice and tight. You don't have to crank it down just because it does have that O-ring and uh, it's very little possibility it's gonna leak if it's reasonably tight. Again, if you crank it down, all you're gonna do is put undue stress on the plastic. So there's a full Moonman M2 fountain pen. And you can see that clear body gives you uh, some nice color of the ink. If this was a green or a red or an orange, Obviously, we get a little bit more pop when it's this sort of deep purplish color or deep blue, whatever it is. Uh, you don't get as much color from it. It just kind of looks black. But uh, up here, you can see a little bit of the color come through. And as you write with this and it, you get less ink, it'll look better. Also, with thinner inks that don't tend to stick to the side as much, you'll get some more, more color. As I keep it upright like this, as the ink drains, which the ink's probably only up to like about here, you'll see some color come through. This won't write immediately. It'll take a few minutes to write. In which case you wanna just wait or you could shake it a little bit or you can dip it into the ink and try to jumpstart it but then you're gonna get ink all over the pieces that were so nice and clean just a minute ago. So this is the the Moon Man M2 Extra Fine. The Moon Man nibs, they are, uh, I've always found them to be adequate. I don't, I don't think the Moon Man nibs are really exceptionally smooth. They're exceptionally great. Again, if you want a really nice nib from a Chinese manufacturer, I would say go with Pen BBS. I feel like they are kind of leading the way, at least for the most part. Uh, but the Moon Man nibs are reliable and uh, they're completely fine, but they are gonna lack the smoothness of some of the other brands, especially in the extra fine. This one I might also be available in a medium, but I don't think it's sold in a fine. It's definitely not sold in a bold. You can obviously swap out this nib here. You go to tug and put this in and you could have that, see if we can get this come through, this 1.1 millimeter stub nib, which is, uh, you know, I haven't used this one specifically yet, but it's generally a fun nib to have and will give you some more options with your pen. So this 
is just starting to flow now. It's not quite there yet, we'll give it another minute. You can give it a little bit of pressure, just a little balance will get this going. Uh, a lot of pen companies, specifically Chinese pen manufacturers, tend to ship the nibs on the tight side, so giving it a little bounce like that is not a terrible idea. And now it's going, you can see a really nice composed flow. Moon Man M2 EF, really, again, nice flow. On the dry side, but very reliable, really nice for note taking. And uh, you don't get too much out of this ink because it is just uh, kind of a, a pretty simple purplish ink, but uh, you know, it's, it's too skinny to get any real shading from or anything like that. The nib is on the stiff side, but it's reliable and it writes nicely and it does its job really well. In fact, it's, it'll be better than a lot of uh, German or you know, European nibs that uh, put it up too much ink and or maybe even too stiff, like a rotring nib. Like they really don't do a great job with their fountain pen nibs. So I prefer Moon Man to that. Uh, but for me, it doesn't quite match, say, a Lamy Fine, which is gonna be uh, smoother and more enjoyable to write with. But again, totally does the job. And then lastly, let's just look at the pen from a size standpoint, which is not that big. Uh, again, all the measurements are on unsharpened.com, but here is it next to the perfect size comparison for any pen, a Sharpie, and it's right about in line with the size of a Sharpie. So if you have a Sharpie, pick it up and you'll get a pretty good shot about what it's like to be holding a Moon Man M2. The, uh, I know for a lot of people, this pen is an absolute no-brainer, because it is so highly recommended and so many people have purchased it and recommend it if you're in the market for a Chinese fountain pen. But there are so many good Chinese fountain pens available today, as well as so many good fountain pens in this price range that it's not necessarily a no-brainer that you should buy this pen. For example, I like this pen a lot, but if you're just getting the fountain pens and you could have, uh, you could buy this from, from eBay, from some company you never heard of, or you could have a Lamy Safari or Lamy Vista, uh, almost everyone's gonna recommend the Vista and I probably agree with that, but it's a cool pen and it's a lot of fun to use. It's a nice eyedropper and uh, it's one of the better and more reliable fountain pens, Chinese fountain pens you could buy today, as well as being one of the nicer $20 fountain pens you could buy overall from any manufacturer today. So as the Moon Man M2, I would say check it out, do some research, make sure you're buying from a good seller. There's a lot of good resources on Reddit and other places for that. So that's it. Thanks for watching.